right, boys and girls. Coach Bashir here, we're joined with Coach Lepper, and we're gonna do some basketball dribbling in our own personal space. This is gonna be very similar to what we did with our soccer skills, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna dribble around in our own personal space within our playing area. And then when Coach Dutch says stop or control, we're gonna stop and control our ball and make sure it's not going anywhere, okay? That's the very, very first thing we're gonna practice so you know how to stop when we ask you to, okay? All right, you ready? ready? All right, cool, ready, go. Control. Good job. Okay, go. Control. Awesome. Go. Control. Look how they stop so well. Go. Control. So what we want you to do is practice a simple, uh, simple game like that at home and have a family member yell out control and see if they can challenge you to make sure you stop every single time. How many times can you control the ball when the word control is given? Practice that at home. Alright boys and girls, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to practice dribbling the basketball in a, within our own personal space at different height levels. So again, we practice this in our own personal spot. Remember, low, medium, high. Okay, so we're going to practice those three levels while moving around. And this challenge us, the first ever says control, we've got to stop and control our ball as well. And coach, if you want to yell out for different height levels too, it's also going to challenge us as we're walking around. Okay? Alright, you ready, coach? Cool. Ready? ready? Go. Low. High. Control. Good job. Go. Medium. Low. Control. Good. High. Low. High. Control. You guys are pros. Low. Medium. High. Control. Good job. All right, boys and girls, so you can practice that at home with your family members and see how many times you can control the ball. We'll see you on the next. All right, boys and girls, we're here and we're practicing our dribbling skills. This next one we're going to do is something called pivot. Now, when I say pivot, I mean it's a basketball term, so when you plant one foot on the ground, that foot no longer takes another step. You use that foot to pivot around. Your other foot is taking a step, but your one foot is planted right in its spot. Okay? When we're doing that, if we're doing a basketball, if we stop dribbling, we can no longer move, okay? We can no longer go anywhere. So then we're gonna have to pivot around like this until we can find a friend on our team and pass the ball to them. Then we can move, okay? So, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to dribble around and whenever you hear the word pivot, we're gonna stop and show you how to pivot, okay? All right, are you ready? Cool. Go. Pivot. Okay, go. Pivot. Make sure you take both of your feet to pivot. 
go. Pivot. Good job. Go. Pivot. Go. Pivot. Good job. All right, so what do you know? You saw how that ball got away from me for a second there. So then I ran over, I got control of it, and I jumped back in again. So if that happens to you at home, it's no big deal. Just keep on going. We'll see you next time for some more basketball activity. Bye.